does not see as a as man see. But man look at the outer outward appearance, but the Lord look at the heart. Let mm -hmm. said, the Lord look at the heart, not the outer appearance. But God had told Jesse he's not oh told it sounded he's not the one. Mm -hmm. He said he got some other men around. Amen. Simon went all through he, Jesse had eight men, eight, eight young men, and God had yes, told him Amen, if you find him, you would know he's the one. Yeah. Yes, and Simon went all through the men. Mm -hmm. And the oil did not pour out. Come on, come on. And when he asked Jesse, Amen, do you have another son? Watch out. Yeah. And he said, Yeah, I have one more. Be yeah. out there, 10 sheep. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes, sir. And his name was David. Yeah. Yes, sir. And as he said, Go and fetch David to me. <laughs> and they went and fetched David, Amen, to Simon and Simon's, amen, got the oil. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, come on. Simon got the oil. Oh. And held it over his head. Uh -huh. And the oil came pouring out. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, He is the one. Mm -hmm. Are you the one this morning? Watch out. Amen. Are you the one? Do the best you can with what you have. Mm -hmm. Say that, say that. And the spirit of the Lord, everybody know everything about Saul. If you are a Bible reader, you ought to know something about Saul. Yes, sir. Saul had rejected God. Yes, he did. He disobeyed God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And God, amen, took his spirit from Saul. Yes, and Saul had a depressed spirit. God gave him the depressed spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. A spirit, amen, that he couldn't get comfortable of. Yeah. Not right. But when he had God's spirit, he was all right. But when you disobey God. Come on, come on. God is not satisfied. Mm -mm. Y'all gonna read with me. Yeah, we're praying, we're praying. Come on. God is not satisfied if you, amen, disobey him. Right. And when this that this person's spirit came upon Saul, uh -huh. his service looked upon him and said, God has put a troubled spirit upon you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let me fetch this young man at in Bethlehem, and his name Tom, Tom, is, come Amen. Come on, y'all, y'all pray with me now. Come on. His name is David. Come on, now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm trying to get my help right now. He said, "Sit for him." Yeah. Amen. So he see one thing about him when you got a gift. Yes, sir. Uh -oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Use your gift. Uh -huh. Come on, come on. Don't hold back upon what God bless you with. Amen. Do the best you can yes, with what you have. Amen. And when Saul says, send that man to me, that man they called David, send that young man to me. And when he played the harp, amen, maybe this troubled spirit would go away. But after that, amen, they sunk for David. Even the father got, amen, ready to come, amen, to Saul also. And when he got to Saul, he played his harp. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And his smooth, amen, his spirit away. At that time, amen, I'm getting to my lesson. At that time, you stand us up. You stand us up. Sodom, amen, had trouble in him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Philistine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Philistine 
and amen begin to come up on them, you got to get rid of all your enemies. When God, amen, when David came and got the enemy, got rid of all the enemy inside, amen, of Israel, all the enemies, amen, around the camp, but it's some more enemies somewhere else. Some in the camp. Some in the camp. <clears throat> I, I'm coming now. <laughs> Amen. Enemy somewhere else. In the camp. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, sometimes your enemy could be your closest friend. Watch out. I feel my hair coming down. I said, sometimes your enemy could be your closest friend. Thank you, Jesus. But in the point of that, Amen. The Philistine was wanting war was the Israelite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. David, I mean, David heard, amen, that that war in the camp. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. They, but they was on the other side of the mountain. The enemy was on the other side. The Israelite was on the other side yeah. of the battle. You got it. You got it. And when Goliath appeared. Uh -huh. The giant. Come on now. Yeah, big rapper. Some of us got some Goliath in our life. That appeared. Thank you, Jesus. Come on now. And when he appeared, it might sound like some of us. When the Israelite army seen that giant, they got afraid. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sometimes we get afraid when things happen in our life. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's one of the good liars. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The, the corona. We get afraid. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. But God, amen, told us one time in our Sunday school lesson. Yeah. Amen. He will protect us. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. He will provide for even though if the, the coronavirus is so around us, he won't let it touch us at all. That's God's word. He ain't going to let it touch us at all. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, Pete. Oh, praise God. We got to praise God, saints, for all the wonders and work he's done for us. Sometimes we forget what God Amen. Do for us. And, 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 but David heard, amen, Goliath and, and, and the enemy, amen, talking about the arm of God. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. He heard that. Yes, sir. Talk, sir. Talk, now, when this happened, uh -huh. just as son David, amen, to the camp. And when he got to the camp, amen, he told, he heard, the, the army, the people were talking, and they was afraid. Then David spoke to the man who stood by him, saying, what shall be done for the man who killed the Philistine and take away the reports from Israel? For who is the uncircumcised Philistine that he should should defile the armor of the living God. Talk about him, David. Who is that? <laughs> yeah, we, we now, Elabo, Eli his oldest brother heard when he spoke to the men. Elabo got angry. His oldest brother got angry at him. And was a rose against David. And he said, why did you come down here? And with whom have you left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know your pride and the innocence of your heart. For you have come down to see the battle. And this is what got to me. And David said, what have I done now? Is there not a cause? Is that not a cause? To defend, cause me to defend the people of Israelite. Uh -huh. You talking, sir? 
Why can't we depend on God when people are talking about the church? Watch out! What you if mean? there's a cause, yeah. you won't have people, amen, talking about the church. But you, if there's a cause, we got to depend our church. That's it. We got to depend, way. amen, our people. Yeah. people. Your end will come. They, when they see the knowing about on you, amen, they, they, they see it before you do. They see the knowing before you do because you walking yeah. in the anointing. Hey. And when you walk in the anointing, yeah. the people see it. Yeah. And they're going to try to confuse you. Yeah. Why you go to church all the time? Y'all hear us this? Yeah, yeah. Why you go to church all the time? Yeah, yeah. Amen. Why you do this? Why you do that for the church? Come on, pray with me now. That's how the enemy is. But well, you can't listen at the enemy. Come on, enemy. You got to let that go out that one ear come out the other ear. Yeah. That's how I get my blessing, saints. That's how I get my blessing. Out, I let it go out one ear and go through the other one. Amen. But I'm speaking for the word of God. I'm standing up for the word of God. Amen. Ain't nobody going to defend God in my face. And that's a war going on. In this place. Amen. And the thing about it, it ain't time to get angry. And when trouble are in the land, it ain't time to hey, don't get angry at your sister and your brother. Oh, y'all ain't praying with me. Some of them might be mad at our brother right now. Amen, because they didn't do what they said they were going to do. But it ain't time for that. It's time to pray in time. It's time to get on your knees. Ask God to help this world. Amen. Pray for our president. Pray for our family. We got to pray for our family. I feel my help coming. Amen, because David looked around. And say it does a cause, Pastor. There it is, there it is. It's, it's a cause. Amen. For everything. When you're dealing with God. And the man, some man, some man heard him. Amen. Talk about that. He ran to Saul. Uh -huh. And we ran to Saul. He told him there's a lad down there. And they say he'll fight the giant. But, but, but the thing about it, people of God. Should get afraid. That's amen. Right. People of God, amen, should have no fear in their heart. Shouldn't have no fear in their heart. And what the devil did to me last night, I wasn't afraid. I laid there in comfort. Because I know the Lord is with me. I thank God. But David said, I'll go fight him. Yeah. But the hill goes, amen, Saul. This is what he saw said in 33. And Saul said to David, you are not able to go against the, this Philistine. Yes, sir. To fight with him. Yes, For you are a youth. Yes, and he's a man of war. From his you. What to do though? But David look at him. Come on now. It's a song. You don't know what I've been through. Yeah. You don't know what I did. You don't know what God done for me. Sometimes we don't know what God done for others. Just because he ain't did it for you. But Saul said, wait a minute. What did he do for you? He said, I was out there. Testify, testify. Yes, sir. Tending my father's sheep. You know, when you're out there doing good, uh -huh. minding your own business. And here comes the devil. The devil. I was tending my sheep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There come a roar loud. Oh, you know, it's somebody going to be roaring at you, all right? Hey, man, called you all kind of names. Took my one of those sheep. Hey, man, started running away 
with. But David said, God gave me strength to catch that lamb. And I slew that lamb and took my sheep back home with me. That ain't all, son. your life too <laughs> amen he did the same thing but so I, I took care of him too amen amen that's what God would do for you amen ever since God anointed David David had the anointing of on him he could do all things through Christ that's written him Defeat that giant. He ain't nothing to me. He just like the, the, the loud out there. He just like that bear. But one thing about it, the world can't see like God people see. God don't kiss that bitch. The world don't see like God people see. Amen. So you might well stop listening at the word. Stop listening at the world what they tell you. But he Saul said, wait a minute, wait a minute, David. I know the Lord going to be with you. Well, yeah. the Lord is with you. But I want you to do this for me, David. Take my arm. Yeah. Take my arm, Pastor. Yeah. Still yet. Yeah. We got to watch out what we put on. Yeah. Amen. He yeah. put on the help. Put on the garment. Amen. Oh, y'all, 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 you pray with me. And when David put it on, something don't feel right. Uh, uh, it, it's not comfortable. You don't know when the world tell you to put on something, it's not comfortable. You don't, you, 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 you don't feel good. And David said, I, I can't wear this. I can't put this on. Oh, I gotta take this off. I don't feel right with it. Oh my God, my God. You ain't gonna feel right with it. David said, I'm gonna go and get my slain shirt. Something I'm comfortable with. And it is the word of God. David prepared himself for the giant. You got to prepare yourself for the job. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And when David, amen, took three stones, one for the father, one for the son, and one for the Holy Spirit, and he put it in his pouch, got a slingshot, and a Goliath looked at him. Oh, he's a big man now. He may be standing 10 feet tall, weighing 400 pounds. Amen, got a sword, amen, long as David is. And he, David, looked at him. They eye to eye each other. He said, you ain't nothing but a lad, a young man. He said, I'm going to take you. I'm going to cut you to pieces. And I'm going to let the bird eat you up. And the beast eat you up. Look at him. I'm not afraid that you can lie. What I have, you don't know nothing about. Amen. I was anointed by the power of God. Amen. And he said, I'm anointed. You are anointed by the power of God. And David looked at him. He said, Goliath, you 
told me what you going to do to me. But I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do to you. Almost do here now. And then, what's 
so thing about what's so thing about this? Saul was glad that David did that. And when he when he called for David, he made David Amen captain of the army. I'm, I'm almost through. He made David captain of the army. And when he made him captain, captain, David went out, Saul went out, amen, to, to, to fight the enemy. On their way back to the house, or to the camp, the women was dancing, praising. Yeah, we got the victory. Amen, they got the victory. They got the victory. They were praising. And next they know they hollered out, Saul killed 1,000. And Saul was happy. I killed 1,000 men. But when the another man of God came, then they came and said, David killed 10,000. Father, I come to you. Yes, 